Cebada? Cebada. city with you, the awesome people, and the great foods in about 20 minutes. Culiacan. It's a little sketchy if you've never driven in Culiacan or in a big city, but if you've driven in Mexico, you, you should do okay, at least in the bigger cities. It's not too different. Uh, lots of nice cars, lots of new buildings. Not too hot today, maybe 85. It's just about perfect. So four years ago, we came down to celebrate uh, my birthday. My birthday is on uh, leap year, and we were in the airport in Tijuana, and we had just learned that the first two cases of COVID had been diagnosed in Mexico. We're like okay and then we found out that they were quarantined in Culiacan and then we landed and come to find out that they were quarantined at our hotel and it was a crazy weekend because no one knew what was going on yeah but we had a good time then when we knew that things were gonna shut down um, I jumped on a plane and that was like the week things were shutting down and it got a little crazy um, but I needed one last hurrah with my friends and the last time I think I've been to a club with rock and roll music was four years ago So it feels good. It feels good to be back uh So, first time back in Culiacan, as I was saying, since uh, right before lockdown. Um, <clears throat> love this town. I've been here probably six times now. Uh, I was at a Foo Fighters uh, festival in San Bernardino called Cal Jam. And it <laughs> Guy is camping right next to me. We're camping for the weekend. And uh, he's from here, and his name's Mario, and we'll meet him later. Um, but he's an attorney by day. He works for the government, represents uh, workers. Uh, he also teaches music, and he has a rock club called El Back Rock Bar. He's the lead singer and guitarist in uh, Dos Pa Dos, which is a band. Their band specializes in two, two different uh, groups. One is the Foo Fighters, and that's who they're going to play for our birthday, um, and then Metallica. Uh, so we're walking down the street, see what else we can find, what what else, what other kind of food we can find, and uh, yeah. So on our first trip down here, uh, we didn't know Mar Mario very well, um, but we ended up staying at this hotel here. 
there's a nice hotel uh, pretty good location right next to the church that we're gonna walk up to and I forgot the name of the church the landmarks of town what I don't like about this hotel is they have these curbs that uh, they're kind of rounded not so good when you're uh, coming home after drinking beer all night uh, but that's another story <laughs> So, why do you like Culiacán? Culiacán me gusta porque es una ciudad en la que todos nos reunimos y nos la pasamos bien. Si bien sí existe el peligro, pero pues en todas partes existe peligro. Pero Culiacán hay hermandad y todos nos queremos y cuando nos reunimos nos la pasamos muy bien. Right there in the distance is where the Tomateros play baseball. We came just from over here. <clears throat> but this is pretty much Culiacan. It's not a big city, about a million people. Lomita, that's what this is called. Love so, I know there's a lot of talk about Culiacan being a dangerous city. But like I said, I've been here six times and I haven't once felt any sense of danger. Now, I'm not oblivious that, uh, you know, that the Sinaloa cartel is based out of here and Chapo is based out of here, uh, but I'm not a drug dealer and I try not to go places where I, I've got to deal with that. I don't drive a big fancy car. I would buy Tracy some big fancy rings and diamonds and all that, but then we'd have to worry about, you know, people thinking that we've got money. Um, so for her safety, I choose not to. Um, what about you, Tracy? You ever felt any danger here? No, and we've been in all parts of the city, um, all times of the day. Yeah. <laughs> all times of the day, so uh, no. Yeah. I've uh, gone home at five in the morning a few times here, and uh, <laughs> not once have we, we felt uh, any sort of danger. Uh, but it's like anywhere you go, you need to, you know, follow your gut instincts, and um, but don't trust the naysayers, don't trust the, the negative people. The last time, the very first time we were here, it was crazy how many people went out of their way to say, you know, there's some good people in this town. Uh, it's not dangerous like they say. And... Like other parts of Baja and Baja Sur where we live where there's a six on every corner or tacarillas where you can go grab a beer. Yep. The area that we're staying in, there's a lot of funeral homes here and hence a lot of florist shops. What's that? Comidas típicas de Culiacán, pozole, tacos, eh, tostadas. tostadas, gorditas, pozole, tacos de buche, y están ya, very good, marisco.
had so much fun that time we stayed here. We went running, we went running and stuff. One thing that you may not know, in Mexico, a lot of people ask about healthcare, well, one thing that's really common is to go to a pharmacy, and most pharmacies have a doctor on site, and so the doctor will see you right then and there, and then you go next door and you get your services. Uh, in this situation, Mario needs a shot because he's got he's sick with something, and so he went and sees the doctor, and then they give him the shot right here, and you know, it's all said and done. It's just done dropping, and it's, the cost is negligible, maybe. I'll ask him how much it is, but my guess is, I don't know, 500 pesos total. Tracy, ¿le gusta Culecan? Sí, me gusta Culecan. ¿Para qué? ¿Por para qué? Por, por la comida. Y la gente. Y los nuevos amigos. Y el bar. Y la el música. Y la música. Se va a ver mejor. ¿Qué más? Porque me gusta. Es un buen lugar. Y en español está bien. En español. Ay, pésimo inglés. Si quiere practicar inglés, está bien también. Borrego. Let's check it out. Uh oh. No, it's a lugar very bonito, it's tranquilo. And the culture is very rich. Alright, Mario's getting ready for the show by eating pizza. Hopefully, his voice lasts. And watching us drink beer has to help. <laughs> Mario doing his Foo Fighter show. It's gonna rock. It's gonna be a little bit different tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good because you know if you've seen one Foo Fighter show, uh, you've probably seen a lot of them. So a little practice is good. Any uh, final words, Mario? Only, uh, I only be able to make it with your help. Ah, oh, right. like My singer. Oh, <laughs> Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Uh, <laughs> porque aquí nací, de aquí soy y es mi tierra. 
Punto. También me encanta Culiacán porque hay gente muy humilde, muy buena y que te da la mano. ¿Te gusta Culiacán? Obviamente, sí, yes, buddy. Porque nací aquí, Culiacán es hermoso, es una tierra caliente. Somos gente muy cálida, hay muy buena comida, hay mujeres muy guapas. Y hay buen catarreo. Welcome to Culiacán, buddy. And happy birthday to you. We do after the club. Menudo. Please try it. I love you. Solo. Culiacán está bien. No, no sé Culiacán. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué le gusta Culiacán? El ambiente, la gente. Yo estoy Spanish very well. Culiacán está bien para todo. Puedes venir aquí, disfrutar, pasarla bien, disfrutar el pasaje, los mares, la playa, la comida, la cultura, la música. That's just beginning of the trip to Culiacan. Stay tuned because going forward, we'll be going deeper into the culture of Culiacan, into backstage bar, the beer scene, and so much more. So subscribe so you can see everything else that we did on our trip.